Here's Ulrich. Always being too frozen. These rangers are some hard-blooded... What's the story on Montero Luna? That call we got from Wagoner Farm turned out to be a little more interesting than I was expecting. Some men were trying to run the Wagoners off the land. They tried to buy it first, but when that didn't work, they turned to threats. We confronted them, and unfortunately, it came to violence. None of them survived. You helped someone in need and came back alive. That's a job well done. For the time being, yes, but you could still be in danger. That's why we need to fill in some blanks. What did you make of these men who were trying to take the farm? If that's true, then someone must have hired them. Now, did you find anything that might give us a lead on why these men wanted the farm? Hmm. Says here the thief had help from someone inside Hope Tech. Ain't much to go on. There's something else. They were dressed in Freestar militia uniforms. The unit badge was yellow on black with the number one. Didn't you fight in the colony war, Marshal? That sound familiar at all? The first cavalry. I was in that unit for a while. But it was disbanded decades ago. After the Battle of Nera, what was left of it anyway? Hell, it's our only lead. The Hope Tech factory is in Hope Town on Polvo. Nia Kalu's our ranger stationed out there. She can introduce you to Ron Hope, the president of Hope Tech. He might be able to help you find the thief. Just make sure you stay on his good side. He's on the Council of Governors, and they're the ones we answer to. Good. The last thing I need is the Council breathing down my neck. This is your assignment now, Deputy. Work with the other Rangers. Find out what you can about those men on Montero Luna. Meantime, I'll look into a possible connection with the 1st Cavalry. Good hunting. Nicely done.
ship. Mayday! Mayday! This is Free Star Ranger Nia Kalu. If anyone is hearing this, system's failing. Need help. I repeat, need help. Approaching ship, you've entered Free Star Collective Space. Maintain your current course while we scan for contraband. And that's it. You're clear to land at Hopetown. Please tell me you're here to help, not to try and steal my ship. I'll just pretend I didn't hear that, deputy. I was tracking a crew of outlaws that's been preying on merchant ships. Bastards got the drop on me. I ran them off, but they got a few good hits in. As you can see, I ain't in much shape to make repairs. Just patch her up enough to get to Hopetown. The rest can get fixed up there. Thanks. I owe you one. We're happy to help. Thanks. That should get me home.
You're right. They were pretty beat up, so I don't think they got real far. But if they make it back to their hideout, I might never find them again. We can't let that happen. They look to be heading for Polvo's moon, Miatha. Good hunting. position. There's something on your mind?
Swing by Hope Tech Star Yard and see if they have anything interesting for sale. I don't want to hear any complaints. Ron hopes the Great best thing that happened. How is Ma? Oh, hello. Excuse me. Excuse me. I remember meeting Ron Hope once. Idealistic and perhaps a bit of a dreamer. <laughs> but you have to admire what he's accomplished. You made it. Those outlaws didn't give you too much trouble, I trust? I'm sure it didn't hurt that I softened him up for you. You've got good timing. A courier just came in from Aquila. The Marshal sends his regards along with a briefing on your case. I was surprised as hell to learn about the starship theft. Nobody said a word to me about it. Anyway, Mr. Hope can see us whenever you're ready. If you need to take a little time first, feel free. His office is upstairs. He's in a meeting, but it should be wrapping up. Come on. Ron Hope certainly embodies the saying, a spirit of no experience. Ron Hope isn't just the founder and president of Hope Tech. He's on the Council of Governors. The Council oversees the Free Star Rangers, so don't rile them up. I've spent a long time trying to build a good relationship with Hope. He comes on a little strong, but there's a lot to admire about the man. Everything you see around you, he built. Pretty much everyone in this town owes him for their livelihood. You can't begin to imagine the kind of pressure that must put on someone. All I'm saying is, try to show a little respect. All the way up. Is it just me, or does every executive in the settled systems have an office on the top floor? Uh, I guess being above everyone makes them feel like they're, well, <laughs> above everyone. Just our bottom line that matters. We're also responsible for the welfare of everyone in the factory. We look out for our people here, Burchett. That's a point of great personal pride. And um, excuse me, uh, Mr. Hope? Well, now, the Free Star Rangers. At last! <laughs> ah, damn, good to see you. I think we're done here, Burchett. Yes, sir. This is the deputy I told you about. Splendid. Splendid! It's a noble calling, being a Free Star Ranger. We certainly could use more of you. I'm sure I don't have to tell you what an outrage it is to have a ship stolen right out of the factory. Justice must be done. And the sooner, the better. That's good news. I'll send my people over to bring it home. 
Of course. That doesn't mean your work is done. I want the thief found and prosecuted to the full extent of the law. I'm sure I don't need to remind you of my position on the Council of Governors. I'm glad we understand each other. I'm not certain why you choose to back this Free Star elitist snob, but that's your choice. I'll back your play, but I don't have to like it. Now, tell me that you've at least got a lead of some kind. Hmm? Though what happened after the ship was taken doesn't concern me. What does concern me is making sure that this doesn't happen again. Well, I'm not sure I can be much help, but I'll answer whatever questions I can. What? Nonsense! We vet our people thoroughly here. Hope Tech holds its employees to the very highest standards. Nevertheless, I suppose I could have Cosette conduct a, a thorough personnel review. <laughs> Rest assured, if we turn up any evidence that one of our people was an accomplice, I'll let you know. We questioned everyone who was in the building when it happened, and not one person seems to have seen anything at all. Frankly, I I think that's both highly unlikely and more than a little suspicious. However, I can't deny there are times when the hangar is empty, so it's not inconceivable the thief could have slipped in unseen. No, nothing at all. It was just a, a standard Hope Tech cargo holder. Not that it didn't have great value, mind you. Hope Tech build some of the most durable and reliable starships in the settled systems. Now you can bet my ships last twice as long as anything Stroud Eklund makes. Very well. I need you to understand something, Deputy. This town is home to men, women, and children who depend on Hope Tech for a living. I provide jobs that put food on their tables and a roof over their heads. It's a responsibility that I take very seriously. If word gets out about the stolen ship, my investors will lose trust and my workers will pay the price. I can't allow that. Well, heavy is the head that wears the crown. <laughs> I'm sure the burden of responsibility for your workers is an inconvenience, Mr. Hope. But the deputy has responsibilities as well. Despite what you think, I have great respect for the badge and the difficult choices that come with it. But my primary concern is for the welfare of my people. I'm glad we understand one another. I'm sorry to interrupt, Mr. Hope, but there's been a development. Not now, Cosette. I'm in the middle of something. But, sir, we have new information. I've just received a report that the stolen ship was seen landing at Neon just after the fact. A breakthrough at last. Well, Deputy, it sounds like you'll be heading to Neon. Which means I can get back to work. Remember what we discussed. My people are depending on you. Hey, can I get a word? That wasn't as helpful as it could have been. Still, at least you know where to pick up the trail. Let's hope. So, guess you're headed for Neon. There's a ranger station fair. Name's Jalen Price. 
He's a little different than the rest of us. But a neon's a different kind of place. He should be able to help you out. Well, we've both got work to do. It was good to meet you, Deputy. Thanks again for helping me out up there. No problem. Good luck on Neon, Deputy. <laughs>